I think when people go through Mill and look at those images, they say, oh, that's such and such. And, and in a way, they're right. This is only the second time, I believe, that I've shown Mill work in Mill context, in a, in a Mill space. So the Heritage Winooski Mill Museum is located here in the Champlain Mill. We tell the story of the history of the mills in this area and the people who work there. Our mission is weaving our industrial and cultural past with what matters to our community today. I like having an exhibition like we're doing here at the mill, where you can see some of the process. These guys, are there three of them? Yeah, that's the book. David McCauley is a renowned, award-winning author and illustrator and Vermont resident. We are so excited to be sharing his work in a new exhibit at the Heritage Winooski Mill Museum. Innate curiosity and sort of how things work. Basically have been able to do what I really love to do. Building a Mill Town is an exhibit showcasing the sketches, final drawings, research notes, and the original manuscript from David McCauley's book, Mill, which was published in 1983. Now this is the whole chronology of the book from 1793 to 1947. Mill is the story of the transformations in these mills for uh, spinning cotton, weaving cotton, weaving fabric, and so on. It was all textile related stuff. And I just wanted to sort of tell that sweeping, that so, sort of sweeping technological story, architectural story, and humanize it by inventing enough people along the way to sort of bring it to life. The exhibit will walk you through the growth and development of a fictional but very typical New England mill town. Many of David's architectural drawings feel familiar and visitors will find many similarities to the Champlain Mill and other local mill buildings. For me, drawing is seeing. I can take all the photographs I want, but it doesn't mean I've actually really seen anything even better than just having all those photographs, was having sketches made on site because you really do get to know your subject. And this is looking like down the river at the waterfall and so on. The research then is, you know, traveling, is looking at mills, spending a lot of time reading, a lot of time talking to people, taking photographs, and then sketching. Sketching, sketching, sketching. It was going to these sites, it was going to these mills, it was walking through them. It was walking around a site where there used to be a mill. Thank goodness that arches are so structurally stable, they stand forever. You've got those clues, it makes looking at these buildings, not like looking at, you know, dull old factories, I use that phrase intentionally, because these are magnificent structures. The fact that we're still in one, you know, it's just an example of, of the, you know, the permanence of these things. But there was also the fact that it was the textile industry that brought me and my family to this country. Use what's available to get people looking more carefully at things around them so that they develop an understanding that really supports the attachment they probably already have. And if it stirs even a little bit more interest in our history, it will have done its job. That's the story. <laughs>